Hello, my name is Larry Merkin. I'm the GIMP Wizard. Today we're going to be doing a digital painting that's going to be something like this. It's a sort of sexy picture of a woman with long pink hair and I've made a little water come down out of a focus spot up here spraying out like this like it's maybe under a shower. So that's the gist of the image we're trying to produce. I'll show you the image that we're going to start with. On DeviantArt.com I found this nice picture that inspired me. The picture is by an artist named Anu, A-N-N-U. She's a woman from Finland and I did email her and she said that I'd be welcome to use a photo so here we go. Let's see what we can do with this picture. We're going to start out by trying to get rid of this background and then I'm going to do a special effect or artistic filter. Um, so let's uh, start and try to first remove this background and turn it black. And the way I would do that is using our fuzzy select. And when we go to our tool options right here, I'm going to make it um, add to the current selection. So as we click, each time you click, it's just going to add to the selection we already had. Now here, it actually took our hands, which was a little more than we wanted to do. So I'm going to do Control Z undo. I don't want it to grab that much of the image. so. Let's go around to other areas and then we'll change this so that it doesn't hopefully get too much of uh, her body. We just want to get the outside area. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you'll see once we do the filter that it's not going to matter exactly. So we're just trying to basically get all these outside edges. And we've got most of it, but what I'm going to do is use our circle select also. And once again, I'm going to have it add to the current selection. Let's have it grab this area here, we'll add that. So we'll add that to the selection. We gotta add over here too. There's an area that it missed, so we'll try to grab that. Let's see if we can pull it up a little bit more to get the top here. Okay, we got that, and then we've still got to get this. Here, I'll just try to get this area. Ugh. Try to get this area in here selected. So we're going to go. Oops. Got too much there. Let's try that again. Hang on. Again, it's not even that matters. So we've got to get too accurately. Let's. Try to do something like that. All right, I think that's gonna work uh, for our purposes, but um, let's see. Okay, now that we've got the outside selected, really all we wanna do is set that to black for the background. So we'll just drag the black over there. Great, and you'll see it screwed up the hands a little bit too, but as I say, we're gonna be using an artistic filter and probably all this is okay the way it is. So I'm going to do Control A to select all, and then what we're gonna do is go to filters and we're going to use a GMIC filter, which you ought to have that plug-in already. If you don't, look it up on the internet and hopefully you'll see it's very easy to add to your uh, GIMP. So then we're going to use an artistic filter and we'll go down here to the Rodelius filter. And this comes out with a lovely artistic effect. I'm going to click once to make the thickness of the lines get a little bit thinner. And we're just going to say OK. And this should give us our main artistic image that I thought would be very cool looking. And I think it comes out beautifully. But just uh, to make it a little nicer, I sort of envisioned that possibly this is the back of a woman taking a shower. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add in a new layer and we're going to put in some water coming out of a shower head. So we'll go with new layer. And that new layer we started out as black, so I'm going to pour the black over it. And then we're going to go to our filters and put in some noise. So we go to filter, noise, and we'll just do the HSV noise. And we'll crank the vault value all the way up here. And at least there we get some noise. Let's just go, oops, got to click there. We'll say OK. 
And then what we want to do is make it look like it's raining down. So we're going to do a motion blur. So we go to blur and we'll do a motion blur. And we want it to be linear, but let's click once and make the length a little longer. 13 is fine. And for the angle, we want 90 or 270, something that's going vertically like rain. And now we'll say OK. And with it blurred, you can't really even see it anymore, but I'll tell you it's still there. Let's make it, uh, so why don't we make it so you can see it first. So we'll go to colors and we're going to change the levels so that it's going to show up much better. So with the levels, what we're going to do is we're going to drag the white adjustment down such that we're going to see, see the rain much better. So bring it over until you feel like it's much brighter and then we're going to drag the black side over so we don't get too much rain. We only want it to look like it's shooting out of a shower. So maybe we'll do the black a little bit more so we don't have too much. Who knows? Something like that. And we'll say OK. This is where you get to show how artistic you are and decide what's the right amount. You can change the length of the lines and how bright they are and whatnot, but also I think I'd rather have bigger droplets because we're looking pretty close up at the picture. So I'm going to scale this layer. So we click on scale. I click on it again to make sure it works properly. And I'm going to link it so it's going to do the horizontal or vertical equally. And we're just going to multiply it by 2. And then I hit the tab key and it does both of them. And we'll say go ahead and scale it. So now we've got that layer scaled and I put it as a floating selection. So I'm going to anchor that back down to where it was before. And just so you can see what's going on, we're going to change the layer mode from normal to screen. And that way you'll get the water drops and you'll see through them to the image below it. One more thing I want to do is make it like it's coming out of a shower. So what I'm going to use is our perspective transform tool. And now we'll click on this and I'm going to drag the top right in and the top left in toward the middle a little bit to make it look like it's coming out of the spigot. So I'm going to bring it from 900, I'll bring it to about 600 here. And from zero, we'll bring it into about 300 here. And then I'm going to say transform. And there you go. We've got our final image. I hope it's uh, come, out, come out like an artistic, sexy picture of a shower coming down over a beautiful woman with pink hair. And once again, if you want to go, I'm going to leave links under this so you can find Anu's site on DeviantArt. It's Anu Anna, A-N-N-U-U-N-N-A dot DeviantArt.com. I'll leave a link to her original picture. And as always, you can go to larrymerk.deventart.com to find all my artwork. Hope everybody had a good time, and we'll see you another time. Bye-bye, everyone.